Alright, so just got a new box here. New goodies. Just take it off the side. Cusco, I think that's how you pronounce it. Cusco uh, from Japan. Okay, on the instruction here on Japanese. Uh, this will be the set. Wow, that feels heavy. So, uh, yeah. Are these compared to. Uh, Compared to the uh, previous one, I had the racing beats. So the racing beat, it's a little bit stiff for my taste. I have it on the stiffest, excuse me, the soft, softest setting, and, and it's it's okay when the road's smooth. It feels actually, it feels really good when the road's smooth. But when the road's really bumpy, it's a little bit rough for me. So I got something that's a little bit less stiff, uh, smaller, you know, smaller diameter. It's kind of hard to calculate because, you know, um, stiffness comes from material use. Um, so what what type of material it is? Uh, you know, these things are steel, but we don't know what. You know, I, I don't know what type of steel it is. You know, I don't know. You know, like for example, when you look at Fly Miata's sway bars, and they actually tell you what kind of steel it is. It's forty one thirty, so that's chromoly. So I have no idea what kind of steel this is. <clears throat> I mean, sway bars are basically like, you know, they're, they're, they're like kind of like springs basically. So they probably use some kind of uh, steel that's hard enough to, to be spring-like. So it definitely wouldn't be mild steel, for example. Uh, if it was, you know, it would, it would deform and it, and it stays, stays deformed. So it's something else. So anyway, so, it's, so stiffness has to do with material used, diameter of, of the material, uh, if it's hollow or not, uh, the surface area of the cross section. You so you take the cross section, you know, you cut this, and you look at the cross section of it. How much surface area there is, and actual how much material there is in that cross section. You know, for example, if you have a square inch with the material, um, uh, let's say you have a, a solid, a solid piece that's a square inch, and you have to say, you know, of whatever material, and you have the same material, but you hollow it out. But the cross section is still a square inch, so 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 when you hollow it out, that means the diameter has to be bigger, but it's hollow, right? But the cross section is still, if you add it up, it's still a square inch. That will be stiffer than something that's that's uh, more that's solid, basically that's that's smaller around in diameter, that has less less surface area. So I have no idea what the stiffness is. So let's look at it. So, made in Japan. So I'm always down for Japanese, I mean, you know, Japanese made stuff. I'm a big fan of made in Japan. Um, the racing beat was actually made in US. Same thing with the Flying Miata. Same thing with the, the Roadster Sport from uh, Goodwin. Damn, everything's in Japanese. I wonder if they have anything in uh, English at all. Nope, it looks like it's all Japanese. This ND5, whatever. I'm not sure if that refers to Miata or not. Or the ND Miata or not. So let's see if I could see any actual numbers that I can look at. Nope, they just tell you how to, <laughs> how to, tell you how to uh, install it. Geez, this is as bad as uh, this installation instruction is as bad as the OEM 
the Mazda destruction. Maybe even worse. This one you have to they tell you to take off the front bumper. The Mazda one, you, they tell you to take off, you know, lower the subframe. You don't need to do any of that. Yep, this one, they, t they say it too, lower the subframe. Yeah, you don't need to do any of that. That's, that's, that's a waste of time. Too much effort and a waste of time. Okay, so that's the front, the rear. Why I chose this one because, like I said, it's, it should be a little bit less stiff. Hopefully, uh, the Racing Beat one says you know the front is uh, three point four times stiffer, and the rear is three point seven times stiffer. So I'm assuming that's at the maximum setting. I have no idea what the minimum setting is. Uh, this one I think it, they say it's only like one hundred and fifty to two hundred percent stiffer. So basically, uh, you're you're looking at, uh, at you know one and a half to two times stiffer. So that's cool. And the other cool thing I like about this is that it uses uh, greaseless uh, bushings, so you don't have to grease it. You don't have to worry about greasing it. You know, the greasing is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so this one's greaseless. That's cool. Okay, the rear instructions. Probably, probably it's also installation instructions. Is my guess. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, looks like an installation instruction. Nothing else. Okay, the rear one's easy. That's you know, that only takes like. You should be done with the rear one in like, you know, 20 minutes. Maybe half an hour, including taking your. You know, getting your tools and putting your tools away. But anyway, so yeah, so that's the uh, my my front, my new setup. I think this is what I'm gonna use. It's gonna be less stiff. Uh, even though at, with my racing beat, I have to at the least stiff, least stiffness. Of the, you know, on smooth pavement, it feels really good. But on rough pavement, it's a little bit on the on the bumpy side. So, and if you look at if you go to Goodwin's um, Goodwin's website, if you actually look at the uh, the the ammeter and the watt thickness and everything, the racing beat is actually not as stiff as the progressive. It's not as thick as the progressive bars. The progressive bars are actually thicker. Um, you know, the wall thickness is actually thicker, so the progressive bars is actually stiffer than racing beat. But if you look at the uh, the Roadster Sport bar, uh, that one I'm not sure. It might be less stiff. It might be more. I'm not too sure because that one the their the front bar is actually smaller diameter than the racing beat, but the front bar is thicker wall than the racing beats. Uh, so so that's it's kind of a mixed bag. So I'm not sure. Um, you know, and, and and we don't know what type of material they're using either. Um, and on the rear for for the racing beat, it's a 16 inch, or excuse me, 16 millimeter, but it's hollow, whereas everyone else uses a solid 16 millimeter. So the solid 16 millimeter is going to be stiffer because it's you know the the, the outside diameter is the same. So that means the the one with more you know so basically the the one that's solid has more material. At the cross section, so it's going to be stiffer than the, the hollow one because there's less material. Um, but this one, this one here, this one's only uh, I think 14 millimeters, and I believe it's hollow too. But I'm well, it might be solid. I'm not sure. I can't remember now. Anyways, you guys could look that up. You, know, you guys could go to the website, um, to the, you know, the Goodwin website, or or Fly Miata. I, I got this from Fly Miata. It was actually cheaper at. Excuse me, not Fly Miata. What am I saying? Fly Miata. Shoot. Uh, I mean. Um, uh, Miata Speed. I got it from Miata Speed uh, out of Fremont. So they're actually cheaper. Um, the front bar, I think it's about the same price. It's only like maybe 10 bucks difference, but the rear bar, there was like I think $30 difference or $40 difference uh, cheaper. So I got it from, you know, from, from them instead. Uh, but they, you know, these are expensive bars. You know, this, this set of bar here is like over 500 bucks compared to most of the other brands. Most of the other brands, it's only like 300 bucks. Uh, you know, the Racing Beat one's like three, 330. The uh, Progressive one is about, to, you know, around the same 
price maybe a tad bit more same thing with the uh, with the uh, flying Miata it's a, it's, it's a little bit over you know a little bit more than that um, li you know a little bit over 330 um, the only one that's really cheap is is the uh, roast you know the good one racing good uh, roadster sport that one is um, actually it's about the same price but right now but it's on sale for like I think only 200 and something 230 bucks so it's like a hundred dollars cheaper but they don't have any in stock uh, so 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 once it goes back in stock I don't know if it's gonna be still the same sale price or or it's gonna be a different price but, but anyways all everything else you know I think everything else is stiffer than this this is I think this is the least stiffest of the album just because smaller diameter um, so anyway, so that's my unboxing and why why I, I bought these and why I'm not keeping the uh, the uh, racing beat. Um, all right, thanks for watching.